New information in a deadly motorcycle crash in the Springs over the weekend. We have learned the 29 year old man who died was wearing a helmet when he was hit by a truck. The driver of that truck facing charges of vehicular homicide. Last year, CDOT says 103 motorcyclists were killed on Colorado roads. More than half of them were not wearing helmets. With the busy summer riding season now in full swing, we want to take a look at helmet laws and whether they work in this 360 perspective. Safety experts consider a DOT approved helmet to be the most important piece of motorcycle safety equipment. In Colorado, if you're 18 and over, you don't have to wear one. The NTSB says wearing a helmet reduces the risk of dying in a crash by 37%. Unhelmeted riders, they are three times more likely to sustain traumatic brain injuries in a crash than those who wear their helmets. More than 5,000 motorcyclists were killed back in 2017. That's double the number from 1997. Now, some riders say helmets increase the risk of neck injury and reduce peripheral vision and hearing. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says there's no credible evidence to support that. They say more than a dozen studies have actually refuted that claim. They say universal helmet laws incredibly effective, but if they only apply to young riders, they're nearly impossible to enforce. Those against helmet laws, though, say it should be their choice. The first time helmet laws were established was in 1967. That's when the Fed began requiring states to enact the laws to qualify for certain safety and highway construction funds. By 1975, all but three states mandated helmets for all motorcyclists. Here's a look at today. 19 states and D.C. have universal helmet laws. 28 states have laws covering some riders, usually people younger than 18. Three states don't have any requirements. Iowa, Illinois, New Hampshire. Now, since since 1977, Colorado riders have not been required to wear one. And it was in 2007 when the state started making riders and passengers 17 years and younger wear them. You are required to wear eye protection no matter your age. If you have an idea for a future 360, email 360 at koaa.com.